Hi guys, me and Rosie are back and we are doing a Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree haul. Um, she is teething really bad. She's very fussy, very cranky. So we will see how long she lasts during this video. Um, I've already had restarted a couple of times, so let's hope that this is this is the one. Can we can we show them what we got? Okay, hang on, hang on. We'll do this quick, okay? So, we went to a couple of different Dollar Trees over the last week or so, and we found today these really cute egg, like Easter egg bouquets. We had a pink one, a purple one, and a blue one. Um, they did have a yellow bouquet, but it was broken, so obviously I did not pick it up. But I think these will be really cute together in a vase. So, we got that, and then... We got this beautiful little happy Easter sign with a little bunny in the middle. It's really big. I mean, obviously, I can't really get into frame these in, but oh, that would help. <laughs> but it's really cute, really pretty. <laughs> Hi, cutie. So we have that. We have a couple of different signs, but it's all scattered over here. So I'm just going to go with what is in front of me and just kind of work that way. No order. <laughs> We found this little cactus fairy garden. Hey, are yeah, you showing them your teeth? Do they hurt? It is me. Good job. So we got this little cactus fairy garden decoration thing. Rosie loves fairy garden stuff, so I let her play with it just because she can't fit this in her mouth and she drops it. It's fine. So you can play with it, baby. And then... We have this really pretty cottontail farm sign with a pink truck and it says this way to the bunny trail. I love this sign. It's so cute. And then, sorry, I'm trying here. This one says carrot patch, pick your own, 25 cents each, locally grown, open daily. How cute is that? That is so adorable and it's glittery. Both of them are glittery and just really cute. I don't think, I mean, the fallout's pretty bad, but I think it'll work. <laughs> and then Rosie was going through the aisles. We had a walk in the store today and she was kind of just throwing stuff in and I'm just like, whatever. <coughs> so a couple items that she picked out were this Dr. Seuss coloring and activity book. Um, she recently got a bunch of crayons from my grandma, and she's really enjoying uh, coloring, so figured she wants a coloring book, that's fine. But she also picked out this one, um, Blues, Clues, and You, Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. Blues, Clues was my jam when I was a kid, I loved that show. So, yeah, I think she'll have fun with those. And then she also grabbed Kindness Matters, a book about friendship. Um, she has, I think, all the rest of them. Because the rest of the collection is I Can Do It, Amazing Me, Cool Down, and then this book. So I think we have the whole set. And then, you want to play with these? We have some, can you show them first? An Easter bunny and, can we show them? Hey. An Easter bunny and baby chick window cling decoration. I'm going to let her play with these just because she doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> and you want to play? Can you go in your chair though? Here, here. Here, you know how to peel it. I know you do. Alright. One of those days, you guys. It's one of those days. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind of just wanting her just to cooperate. And I'm not wanting to get mad at her. She's just not used to the camera because it hasn't been out for a couple of months. But then we got this Easter basket with the bunny in it. And then... 
everything over here. Um, we have a birthday party to go to on Sunday, so we got the birthday girl little Minnie Mouse card. She's turning two, obviously. And then Zach picked this up. We needed a new sink strainer because we don't have a garbage disposal, which is really annoying, but one day. So we got that. I'm just putting them on the ground. They're cute. And then I picked up this keto cookbook. I'm interested in keto. I just don't really know how much carbs I should be eating. So I'm just going to kind of do some of these recipes and see how it goes. So we have a tangy avocado mayo, which probably I do. I can't do avocados. But then we have a mustard vinaigrette. I love salads, so cauliflower fritters so it'll be good i'll give it a try all right and then we have i have a couple more but i don't know where everything is like i said i'm not going in order but we have this little fairy garden um it's like a bed it's really cute i don't know if you can really tell but it's a little bed in there with some flowers it's pretty yeah and then we have a little shoe house. All right. Oh, I'm finding some of my stuff, so I'll keep going with the fairy garden. And then we have this little apple house. And where did it go? Yeah. If I find it, I'll find it. Okay. And then yesterday at a dollar store, Rosie picked out these really cute um, Easter eggs. And they have little designs on them. Super pretty. And there's six of them. Can you not get them? Can you say please? There you go. Thank you. Oh, you want them back on? Oh, thank you. Okay, we can do that. All right. And then we have a few stickers. I think this is all the stickers. We have these um, travel ones. This one is super cute because I love the like VW cars and buses and whatnot, or vans or whatever you call them. So we have the little beetle and hot air balloons. And then I got this sticker set and then just some letters. We have this really pretty travel and welcome to paradise, kind of like beachy themed sticker set. There's seven and this is from Crafters Square and then this set that I just showed you is from Jot and this one is 64 pieces. So I'm going to be using these for some scrapbooking once I get back into it. And then this one is really pretty. It's a little, it like slid up in the thing but there we go. I just love these stickers. These are probably one of my favorite ones that I've ever found. And this is by the brand Jot, and it's nine pieces. And then, oh, we found a Toy Story 4 jumbo coloring book for Rosie. She loves Toy Story. She loves it. She can watch it all day long if I let her. So, really cute stuff. Slinky, oh, I love Slinky. He's my favorite. So we have that for her, and then um, I'll do the signs, because I think I have all the rest of the signs right next to me now, unburied. We have a little happy Easter pink truck with the Easter eggs, and it's a little um, steak that you would put out in your yard. This one is Rosie's favorite. She's been playing with it. You want to play with it? Oh, and it's got a little um, bunny and a little cotton ball tail on it. Super cute. Okay. And then I went a little overboard on the signs. We're painting right now, so I don't even know if we'll be hanging them up this year, but for next year, I have a lot of options. <laughs> we have happy, hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Easter egg. And then 
a Happy Easter Bunny. And this is like, um, what is it called? I don't remember what this is called, burlap. That happy is on burlap. I love that detail, I think it's cute. And you wanna play with it? Is it an Easter Bunny? What? No, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay here, please. And then the hunt is on. And this one is a very sparkly, very glittery, I should say. Thank you. But it doesn't really have too much fall. Oh, I, I mean, I'm, you're not gonna be able to tell. But I love this one, I love the yellow. And then we have what, two more. I accidentally bought another one, <laughs> a repeat, but that's all right. And then we have Cottontail Crossing, Carrot Patch, and Easter Bunny. And I love that the Easter egg, the carrot, and the bunny are kind of like, they're raised. I can't really tell, but they're like popped out a little bit more. I love the detail. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a repeat. Nope, never mind. Wait, is it? <laughs> it's not. It's close. It's like the steak, which that's what confused me. But this is just a hanging sign. And this is a steak, so. Kind of cool that I got, like, a set. She's going to town on those stickers, I tell ya. And then this chick is ready for Easter. I'm going to put this in Rosie's room. Because her room is all done painted, so I can start hanging stuff. And I thought this was really cute. Okay. And then I got a big bag next to me, so I'm going to wait for the bag until everything else is done. Okay. Should have been a little bit more organized, but she wasn't allowing it. <laughs> yeah. I found this little castle box thing that Rosie is going to be painting. She is not into painting so much. She's really into coloring, like I said, but painting scares her. She doesn't like being messy. But I'll just let her try to paint this someday. I thought it was really cute. And then, I don't know if this is like a monkey or it's like a little bear. I say it's a monkey, Zach said it's a bear, but anyway, it's a really cute little stuffed animal. She was playing with it in the cart yesterday. And then we have these um, carrots and lettuce fairy garden decoration things. I thought they were um, pumpkins in the store, but you can't really see it here. But they are little carrots really cute I say everything is really cute but that's why I buy it is because it's cute so that's why I say it <laughs> okay and then we have 24 packs of hand sanitizer antibacterial wipes 70% alcohol and it's by extra care um, I switch over my purses a lot, so I don't always get my little hand sanitizer that I carry around into every single purse when I change it. So I thought if I kept these in the car or the diaper bag, that'll help me out quite a bit. So I'm going to kind of disperse them into our vehicles and the diaper bag. So we don't have hand sanitizer, at least we have some wipes. And then... We have some bath books because Rose loves these. She has a whole bath, um, a whole net in her um, bathtub full of bath books. And I keep getting her more just because she loves them so much. So we have All About Babies, Babies Day, um, Animal Friends. Plate time. And then some Sesame Street ones all year round. 
Elmo in the Garden, and Farm Friends. And I really like these because they are very, very quick, easy to read books. And she just loves them. She'll sit in the bathtub and just over and over again hand me a book. Sometimes it's the same book the whole bath time, but it's fine. <laughs> and then my loofah the other day um, just like fell apart. So I figured it was time to get a new one. So I just got this little one from the dollar store. I usually like the bigger loofahs, but or sponges or whatever you want to call these. But I just, we were at the dollar store and I'm like, hey, I forgot one at Walmart. So let's just get this one. It'll work just fine. And I like to change them out like once a month anyway, so it'll work. All right, I'm trying to save like my favorite stuff for last. So we got a bunch more yeah. wings. It is me, and is it you? You are so cute. We got um, a bunch more window clings. These ones are more um, just like stickers, while the other ones were like the puppy belly ones. So we have this set. Um, Hooray for Easter! And then we have Hip Hop Happy Easter with the blue truck. I know I said I was sick of the like the red truck, and I'm sick of the red trucks. I don't really like red, but the blue and the pink and the purpley trucks are just fine. They look so serious. <laughs> And then we have this one that says, hello, Easter. And I love window clings because at our old house, we had, like, well, we still have, like, the crank out windows. But in this house, we have three right here that don't have the crank outs. And then we have a big sliding glass door that I can put them on. So I, I go crazy. I love them just because I was never able to use them at the old house. Okay, what else do we got in here, baby? Um, we have some bubbles that I opened. So we just have some, um, they're just like the little pink Easter egg bubbles. Rosie loves playing with them. Like if I blow them out or she loves popping them. <laughs> and then we have a hopping Easter chick thing. I used to have one of these when I was a kid, and I seriously played with it all day, every day, for years. It was, like, my favorite little toy. I, I like, pretended it was real, and I would just, like, bring it everywhere I went. So, I thought it'd be cute if Rose got into it. Okay. And then we have a hopping bunny as well. I never had the hopping bunny, but my daughter can have it, so. Here we go. And then... A couple more items and then the big scores because I got two books, you guys. Two books that are just, can't wait to show you. I got some little mini canvases so Rosie can paint on them when she gets over her fear of having paint on her fingers. If that will ever happen. I do put these into Ziplocs and put the paint on them and then she can like smush it, smear it, pat it down. And she really does like to do that, so... Do you want that out? Can you say please? Yeah. Let's see. It's not going to work decent because it's on my hand, but... I don't know if it works. Anyway, it's still fine. Do you want to play with it? <laughs> and then, okay. I did find these, which everyone is talking about, and I found these a couple weeks ago. Um, they're makeup vanishing towels. I bought three of them. I'm using one in my bathroom right now. I am not joking, you guys. These things are a miracle. I don't know how it does it. I can have a full face of makeup, um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, all that. This will take it off. All you do is you just wet it down, wring it out so it's just damp, and then you wipe your face and all of your makeup comes off. I swear to God, it's it's genius. It's amazing. I love it. So I got a um, couple more. We got those. And then I found 
my Dollar Tree sometimes will carry spot the differences, but I never really have, I've never bought them. But this one just looked cool because I like butterflies and it has a butterfly on the front. So, got a koala. What else do we got in here? The leaning tower to pizza or pizza. We got those. I thought it'd be fun. I haven't started it yet, but I definitely will. Once she goes to bed, I can do them. Okay, where is the book that I... Okay. So, I got two books, you guys. And I never score big on books, but I swear these books are amazing. We have this... I love this book so much. It's called My Name is Bob. And it's based on a true story. And it's a children's book. And that is the owner and the author, and that is Bob right there, looking bougie in his little bow tie. This book, you guys, it is so cute, and it's so well done. And it was um, originally retailed for $17, and it came with a sleeve, too, by the way, but Rose rips a little, so I just took it off. This book is just... It's beautiful. I love this book. I couldn't believe when I brought it home and read it that I got it for a dollar. So if you see this book at one of your dollar stores, please grab it. Your kids will love it. You'll love it. It's a good book. And then this one. I didn't even hesitate when I saw this book. I just grabbed it and put it in my cart and said, yep, that's mine. It is the Cameron Diaz. I can't longevity longevity book first of all she's amazing she's beautiful she's incredibly talented totally understand why she like isn't acting anymore but i wish she was because she is so talented so we have this and she's also done another book um what was her first book the body book and then she did this one, and I couldn't believe that this is at a dollar store. I couldn't believe it. There's, it has so much information in it, and I just love it. I just, like I said, I seen it, and I'm like, oh my god, grabbed it. And I just, it wasn't even a second guess. Like, will I read this book start to finish? Yeah, but it'll take me a few weeks, maybe, because... It's not really my type of book. It's just the fact that it's this book that I grabbed it, if that makes any sense. It's like I normally read like chapter books that are like interesting. And not saying that this isn't interesting. I'm messing this up. Oh my god. Don't come at me. I'm just saying that I just couldn't believe that this book by this beautiful woman was a dollar. I just had to grab it. So um, it has a sticker over it. Oh, I can read through it. So when this book came out, it was retailed at $20. I just, it's so stunning. I just, I don't even know what it's about, to be honest. But, like I said, how could you not want to grab this? Rosie's playing with my chapstick, so if that's what you hear, like, popping in and out, that's what it is. So I think that's everything. Just trying to... Look around and see if there's anything I'm missing. <laughs> Can you say bye bye to the camera? Yeah. That's her new word that she learned, and that's all she says. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys like the haul. It was quite a bit. I haven't been doing these quite as much <laughs> anymore because I went. It's you. It is me, and it's you. Oh, honey. But I haven't been um to the Dollar Tree really since Christmas because I went over. I went overboard on Christmas with all my decorations that I promised Zach. I wouldn't be doing that anymore. But now I'm kind of getting into the Easter stuff because it's cute. So anyway, I hope you guys are able. Hi, bud. I hope you guys are able to find some of your or some of the things that I showed you. Um, the dollar store I went to yesterday had no signs, like Easter signs available, and then today at the Dollar Tree I went to, a whole wall display of them still. So I don't know, I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why 
every Dollar Tree is different, but <laughs> she's not, oh, you can't even see her. I promise you she's not actually eating it. The tube of the chapstick puppy. is like all the way down puppy. on the bottom. Puppy. Is it the puppy? You are so smart. All right, anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.